Welcome to Manchester. So today guys, I'm gonna show you a new development that we've taken on that is located just 10 minutes from this iconic football stadium. Also with the likes of Media City and the cricket ground close by. In my opinion, this makes a perfect little gem for a short term let. Let's get going and take a look. So guys, um, we're just en route to the development, obviously walking from the uh, Old Trafford football ground and we're just passing the cricket ground. Now, a bit of a stroke of luck just highlights what I was saying um, to you guys earlier in terms of the short-term lets. As you can see behind me with the masses of queues, um, there's a Red Hot Chili Peppers concert going on today. Now, today's a Wednesday, so we're midweek. So not only are there sporting events going on in these stadiums, but you have got the likes of concerts and other events that take place. So as I said, the occupancy rates, the returns you guys can really generate from short-term lets in botanical gardens is going to be really really strong um, but while I'm here I also sort of just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the area and what regeneration is happening now this particular area in Old Trafford is earmarked by Manchester City Council for a 15-year regeneration plan the reason being is there's a lot of historic buildings <laughs> However, that being said guys, there's also a lot of commercial and industrial buildings which really detract from the history and heritage. So what Manchester City Council now want to do is simply get rid of those uh, industrial buildings and create a much more residential feel. Now the way they're going to do this is they're going to create what they're classing as various different neighbourhoods within the Old Trafford area. Now what that's going to do long term is that's going to draw a lot more people to the area and really going to push up house prices over the next 15 years as that regeneration takes place. Now that leads us on to where Botanical Gardens is going to sit within that. It's going to sit directly and central to the eastern neighbourhood. Now it's going to consist of a brand new development, it's going to be a really high-end, high-quality finish. Now we're going to go and take a look at the site very shortly and you're going to see where the site's actually located, you're going to see that they're already on site. But in terms of what it actually is going to deliver and what you need to do at this stage, the great thing, and I've mentioned this previously in other videos that I've done, it only needs a 10% deposit at this stage of the build. Now that is fully protected and as I've mentioned it is crucial when you're buying into off-plan developments that we've got low deposits. It therefore means that the developers don't need high high sort of sales or high deposits in order to actually start the build and get it finished. So that said, that's crucial. But what we're going to do now guys, well, let's go and take a look at the site, let's get a feel for what it's actually going to look like as well and then uh, yeah, we'll see exactly what it's all about. So guys, here we are, we're at Botanical Gardens on Botanical Avenue. Now as you can see, development is fully underway, uh, work's already started. Now that is crucial with any off-plan development, when, especially when we're sort of talking uh, about sort of 18 months away from completion. The reason being is we don't want to be purchasing in those developments that need us to sell 40, 50, 60% before they put a shovel in the ground. These guys only need 10% deposit and as I said work is already on site. Now the 10% deposit which is something I've mentioned previously um, even in the last uh, video with myself it's so crucial um, and so good to have only 10% deposit. The reason being is simply because they don't need the money to fund the build um, and that money is fully protected so whereas these other developments as I've said um, require a lot more sort of 30, 40, 50% it's so much more risk. So the fact we're only putting down 10% again is a massive selling point. Now in terms of the actual development itself, um, we've got one bed in here starting from roughly 185. Um, and we've got two beds starting upwards of 250,000. Now we're already at those prices getting them well below market value. And we know that because we've done a lot in the area. One of the um, developments which I think is really relatable to this, in, simply in terms of the spec specification, the amenities, the facilities this is going to offer, is Trafford Wharf. Now we sold Trafford Wharf, at, Wharf a number of years ago um, and they've recently completed. And in terms of the price jump, we've seen one bed selling upwards of 220,000 and the two beds in excess of 300. So the fact that we're getting these substantially lower than that means we're instantly going to gain great growth. And as I said, that's on top of what we're going to see, as I mentioned earlier, in regards to the 15-year regeneration plan, um, that, that again, long term, is going to see uh, prices really increase. Now, from a lettings perspective, um, as again, I keep harping on about it, but the short-term lets is going to work so well. But let's talk on a traditional let. A traditional let, again, we are letting out Trafford Wharf, where we're letting 60, 70 units in that development. They're all demanding premium rents, and they let incredibly quickly. So even if you don't want to do the short-term and take advantage, 
advantage of the high returns that that will offer. On a traditional let, this is going to make a great investment as well. We're going to have no issues in renting it out. So as I said guys, this is the site. They're already underway and we're looking at completion um, towards the end of next year, um, sort of end of next year, rolling into probably early 2024. But as I said, only 10% needed now and I can't wait to come back and show you the finished product because I know you're going to be really, really impressed. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Um, I'm now going to head off back to Manchester um, Central, grab the, uh, grab the line back to London and that's if I don't manage to get myself that Red Hot Chili Peppers ticket on the way. Um, but look forward to seeing you soon guys and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe because um, it's really going a long way um, and yeah, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. So here we are at this iconic stadium, Manchester United Football Stadium. No. Again. So guys, we've arrived at Botanical Gardens, which is obviously on Botanical App. <coughs> <laughs> Frog in me throat. We're midweek and there is an old, uh, there is the football ground and we're just on our uh, route to the hell, Jack, get your word. Is get rid of those and create mo. mo <sighs> However, what there also is within the area. <laughs> That's going to be an outtake of that one. <laughs> Now, as it stands, um, and the 